the Illinois budget. Oh, the Illinois budget. By almost any account, the Illinois budget is a mess. Lawmakers have adjourned uh, last month, back in May. They passed a budget with a $13 billion shortfall, which Business Week described as a budget built on borrowing, unpaid bills, one-time revenue maneuvers. So what are the alternatives? Well, For three quarters of a century, the United States has waged a futile attempt to prohibit marijuana based upon emotion and flawed science. Since 1971, the federal government has classified marijuana as a Schedule I prohibited substance, like heroin. More dangerous what to the is law, wrong or with or meth. everything? Declared in statute, contrary to proven research, that marijuana has no therapeutic value. Every day, a million authorized users of medical marijuana reject that notion by using it I know you're out there looking for a better formula. Was I? You were in the matrix of cannabis prohibition. But there is a better way for our culture. Every year, Illinois taxpayers spend about $207 million on arrests, prosecution, and the incarceration of cannabis consumers. But isn't cannabis bad for you? Medical consumers report reduced inflammation, relief from nausea, relief from pain, and reduced muscle spasms. Recreational consumers report having fun, increased creativity, better circulation, and better eating habits. The state of Illinois could generate $35.3 million each year by taxing, regulating, and controlling the distribution of cannabis. That makes dollars and cents. What are we going to do about the people trapped in the matrix of cannabis prohibition? Rescue them. Go to your lawmakers and tell them, tax and regulate cannabis in Illinois now. I found the formula!